folks. Well, I, I watched the Martin reunion uh, this morning at like 3 o'clock, but I watched the reunion, and let me tell you that, I mean, if you watch, you know, like the Fresh Prince um, reu anniversary reunion, you, you, you kind of get the vibe of what the Martin one, uh, Martin one was, and I loved it. I mean, there really isn't anything I need to say in terms of how I felt about it. Other than I loved it, it was truly a trip of nostalgia down memory lane. The tribute that not only the cast, but also the um, Ford family, aka, you know, Tommy's real life family. I believe uh, his, um, you know, uh, his, uh, I believe, wife and children. That was just so beautifully done. A great time to pay tribute, talk about what. Um, not just the actor Tommy, but the man, Mr. Ford, meant to all of them. And um, it, it was just great. I mean, it just was a moment where everybody went back to the recreated set of Martin's living room. And they reminisced on, you know, their time on the show, classic moments. Uh, you know, the fact that, of course, 30 years later, there are still people who come up to them quoting, What's up? or you know GTD and, and the list goes on they talk about some of the you know just I again the iconic moments that drive people nuts and of course each of the actors you know um Martin Gina Pam Cole they talk about some of the most iconic moments of their characters on the show and then of course you have the moment where the guests start to show up and I love this segment where they talk about like the celebrity guests that appeared on the show. And I think I remember talking about this when I did like my promo breakdown for the reunion. And I just thought about, you know, back in the day, you got Martin, Family Matters, Sister, Sister. Uh, so many shows from back in the day where it was a mo it was truly a moment whenever a celebrity guest would appear whether it be a famous actor, a famous musical artist, just for them to, you know, come through the door. I remember, like, seeing a TikTok not too long ago um, on YouTube that was pretty funny about how, you know, when a celebrity guest stars in a Disney Channel show, like, you know, when one of the main characters of the show just bumps into someone, it's like, hey, man, watch where you're going. And like, oh, my bad. And then they turn around to get, like, just a round of applause for, like, five minutes. But, yeah, you got Biggie Smalls. And, of course, you know, in terms of what guests actually showed up at the reunion, um, you had Brian McKnight, um, musical guest Snoop Dogg, showed up and he closed out the reunion for performance. But in terms of, like, um, special characters on the show, you have Bruh Man. Bruh Man, he came in through, <laughs> he came in. Uh, and then of course you had Tommy Davidson, aka Varnell Hill, and it's kind of funny because Varnell Hill is like, I don't think there's nobody I know, there's nobody I know who talks about like, okay, let me tell you my top five Martin episodes of all time, or the five greatest episodes of Martin of all time, and Varnell Hill, or the episodes with when they go to Hollywood aren't in the top five. And to just see Varnell come up in there, that was crazy. And it just seeing the cast reminisce. I mean, like I said, there really isn't a need for me to do like an official breakdown because I feel like everybody watching this video, everybody listening to the sound of my voice, you you grew up with Martin. You love Martin. Uh, I mean, hell, even seeing the, uh, the scene where Martin proposed to Gina, uh, I believe like on the park bench where they had the first date and then Brian McKnight came out singing and then... When it cut back to the reunion, Brian McKnight came through the door singing the same song. We got to see some of Martin's iconic characters, uh, you know, when the cast are looking back at old clips from the episode. But And then uh, Marla Gibbs, a.k.a. just a legendary actress in her own right from the Jeffersons, uh, 227, she showed up. Um, you know, she just got her uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, so it was cool to sit down and, you know, reminisce with her and her uh, career in TV. And then, of course, you know... I mentioned the celebrity guest appearances, but they did like another a segment, and I went went back to look at it again. You know, Lynn Whitfield, uh, Tiny Lester, you know, Babyface was in there. Biggie Smalls, as I mentioned before, but I really just love the fact that the cast were able to come together and reflect on how the show was definitely 
a movement because you know when bruh man came through the window he was like you know back in the 80s you know it was a moment that people were like yo i gotta go home and watch the michael jackson thriller video when it drops but in the 90s it's like yo let me go home and catch martin when it comes on and remember you know for the young people out there back in the day before dvr before you know the internet was a big thing youtube bet plus the ability to watch anything at your leisure back in the day you had to be in front of your TV when a show aired or you were screwed. You wouldn't be able to catch it until there was a rerun. And there was nothing worse than being out of the loop whenever there was a movie, a show, hell, sometimes even like Super Bowl commercials. And you go to work or school the next day and you couldn't talk about it because you didn't see it. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I swear, this reunion, I definitely um, see myself rewatching it again over the weekend. It was truly... Uh, just a great special from start to finish. Um, like I said before, hopefully we'll get this kind of thing for maybe shows like Living Single when they hit their 30th anniversary. But yeah, if you're a Martin fan, I think that watching this reunion will either make you want to go back and rewatch some classic episodes of Martin or just at the very least look up clips on YouTube. But I feel like um, the reunion, I'm not going to say it made me miss the show because Martin is still prominent in the culture today because... Anytime you cut on BET, there's a good chance you'll see a Martin episode in hell. Like I said before, the entire series on BET Plus. And I got the entire series on DVD, but this truly reawakened the fan in me for the series because I was born in 91. I watched the show uh, growing up, but just seeing so many iconic moments um, like Martin with the fake dog <laughs> recreating New Jack City. Um, and then, you know, having the cast talk about, you know, some of their favorite moments or how some of these iconic moments came to be. It just showed you the creative talent of these um, actors and comedians, you know, a lot of things being ad lib. So this was great. Avion Crockett did a great job, um, you know, hosting the show as well. And, you know, the big question that was in the promo was Avion asking, you know, it's been 30 years. We're here chilling. The energy is great. We had a great time. Could there be a reboot? And Martin just so eloquent, eloquently said, well, never say never. But, you know, about big dog Tommy here, there's a big boy missing. But, you know, like I, like I just said, never say never. So the door could be open for a reboot. But I feel like a majority of the fans feel the same way. We don't need it. We, we don't need it. Like I said before in our previous videos, look, there are other, you know, um... There are other shows and, you know, actors doing these reboot sequel series or whatever have you. And they're, and they're getting that money. They're getting a sweet taste of that reboot money. And I don't blame them. But at the same time, I just respect the fact that as of right now, there's been no movement for the Martin, you know, reboot. Like, you know, there was there were talks a couple years ago where then that fizzled out and Heck, I remember at the time there were talks of a Sister Sisters reboot, but it's like, nah, we're not doing that. So, yeah, some things are just better left the way that they ended and are remembered by. Because I just feel like, you know, Martin, this reunion, I, I don't think it's been talked about enough. But then again, it just dropped Thursday, maybe over the weekend when more people have time to sit back and watch it. Um, more people online will talk about it. But I thought this reunion was definitely special definitely made me just stop and go back to being a child watching the show laughing and you know of course you know watching it more as an adult catching a lot of the jokes and um you know even further along when i started doing you know like reviews and commentary on like tyler perry stuff and really learning more about the art form of creative writing and you know comedy and at you know when i when i got older even still it's like I can truly appreciate Martin for capturing the essence of the 90s, but at the same time, the comedic talent and genius of all the actors and people involved in writing and, you know, making the show what it is today. And I don't think Martin is going anywhere anytime soon in terms of people looking back and remembering, remembering the show fondly. So, uh, folks... That's really all I got to say. All I have to say is, you know, or, or all I have left to say is if you haven't made time to watch this reunion, please do. 
And I understand, you know, oh, I don't have BET Plus. Look, bar, uh, look, I, I mean, I know Netflix got the whole password stuff, but hey, if you can like link up with somebody to borrow an account or you know get on there to do what you got to do so you can watch the reunion. I urge you to do so, and I have no doubt that in the you know maybe in the next month or so or a couple of months they'll air the reunion on BET. But show your support. Go to BET Plus, watch the special. You won't regret it. Like I said before, if you watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air special, you got a idea of the vibe of what this uh, reunion has to bring. But you know there has been like the great debate on social media the past few years about which sitcom is better. Martin or um, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but it's not about a versus. It's about reminiscing on the impact for the culture that um, Martin was and still is today. So, like I said, this truly was a great um, way to spend what, like, uh, 90 minutes or so. Let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, section below. Uh, what are some of your favorite moments from Martin? Um, what were some of your favorite moments of the reunion? There were just so many uh, classic, you know, moments to reminisce about. But uh, as always, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.